Okay, we got our tainted deer meat out. I'm going to go ahead and get a sharp knife going here. Diamond rod. This is the same knife that I used to help me skin out the critters. Just regular fillet knife. Pull some of these chunks off here. I got this deer meat from my daddy. It's just the parts with a lot of tendon in it from the legs and all that. It ain't really great for eating. But uh, what we're going to do is I like to save this sinew for other projects. So to get it off, you're going to make a little incision. And not with the front of your knife, but with the back of your knife. You're going to put it under the, under the sinew and just pull. Makes it come right off there. When you come to the end of it, put it on off, and there's a piece of sinew. But big pieces like that I'll keep. Smaller pieces really don't matter a heck of a lot to me. But let's go ahead and keep this up. <laughs> take some of this mystery meat, cube her up, and stick her in there too. And then we're going to grind all this together. So open this knife up a bit. Put this meat off this bum. sticker in here, run her through, mix all that together with some sodium benzate, run her through again, then we're going to put some glycerin on top of that, rub it all in together, and then bottle it up and we'll be done. Put this on super speed, so keep tuned. <laughs> two meats in here. We got our mystery meat and we got uh, got our deer meat in here too. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and load in some sodium benzate to keep this from tainting any more than what it already has. So open this up and you can get this at, uh, I'll get all my supplies at uh, F&T's uh, trading outpost. Uh, they always have the best prices. I'm not in any way shape or form being paid by F&T's to talk about them, but uh, I just really like them. They, they have the best prices that I can find anywhere on the internet. And uh, I live in Kentucky, of course, and it takes them three days from the time that I put my order in to the time that it gets to my door. It's just three days. So, you know, it's extremely fast shipping, really good products, and cheap prices. So I do recommend ordering at F&T's Trading Outpost. Just f and t.com really good. But we're going to work this sodium benzate in here. I'm going to need to add some more. Uh, looks like hamburger. That stinks. But we're going to keep on adding some sodium benzate in here until it's just like the coon bait was that we made. Um, so to where it looks just like this but throughout the whole thing. To where I can cut this in half and then it's just marbled in sodium benzate. After that we're going to add some glycerin. So uh, I'm going to fast forward this to get y'all through the process, so stay tuned. Now we got the 
sodium benzate in there. You can see we cut this in half, open her up, see how it's nice and marbled all through there. It's enough sodium benzate. It might really stand just a tiny bit more, but I think it's just not mixed very thoroughly still. Let me mix it up just a tiny bit more. But uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to get this set up just like this, a ball, make a fist, make a little bowl. Now we're going to take our glycerin. And don't forget when you're sanitizing everything to sanitize your uh, bottles too. You don't want to be touching any of this stuff with their hands. Alright. Now we're going to work this in the same way but a little bit slower. Keep this stuff from sloshing all over everything. And um, what we're looking for is you see how the top is right now, that real shiny. We want the whole thing to look that shiny. After the whole thing looks that shiny, then it means there's a good layer of antifreeze on it, and we're good to go ahead and store her up. <laughs> glycerin in it, uh, enough sodium benzate in it to keep it from rotten, plus glycerin is a preservative also. It's not a straight preservative like sodium benzate, glycerin is mostly uh, antifreeze, but it is also uh, the type of preservative. So we should be good to go ahead and store this. Still smells horrible. Glycerin has no smell, sodium benzate has no smell, so uh, all the crater smell is what you used. So we're calling this concoction. Wiley's Coyote Bait. Hope that name ain't taken. If it is, I apologize. But uh, like I said in the previous uh, bait that we made, the coon bait, it's important that you name your baits. Um, that way you can remember what you had put in them. I use several different types of coyote bait, several different types of coon bait. So uh, name them different names so that way you can remember. It's just a mental note to you on what's in here. That way, too, next year, whenever this is empty, or maybe in a month, too, whenever this is empty, I can look at it, see the name, remember what I put in it, and make some more. That, you know, the recipe for you. But, that's, that's how you make it. I need to go clean up my mess. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, me, uh, the Kentucky Trapper, Kentucky Hillbilly, on uh, YouTube.com. Um, we appreciate your support. Please like us, uh, share us. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of this straight to your YouTube account. Uh, thank you all very much. Keep your nose in the wind.